Hello and welcome to this Game Pit Pit Stop for a Game of Thrones Catan Brotherhood of the Watch designed by Klaus and Benjamin Teuber and published by Fantasy Flight Games. In a Game of Thrones Catan it is very much based on the Catan gaming system in that at the beginning of the player's turn they're going to roll 2d6, they're going to total the two dice and then they're going to check which areas have got that total on there and any buildings which are next to those areas are going to produce resources for the owners of those buildings. You're then going to use those five basic resources in order to develop your area in order to score VP and one of the three end game conditions is that you score 10 VP and that will make you the winner. Now on your turn what can you build? You can build rows to expand your network as normal. You can also build settlements and keeps and they're worth one and two VP each. The slight difference here though is that when you build a settlement or a keep you must unveil the wildling token or two tokens which have been placed there underneath at the beginning. That's going to tell you what clan and type of wildling is now going to come into play from the frost fangs into the wildling camps which are then going to move down and threaten the clearings to threaten the wall and this is why we're all here because we are the night's watch after all in this case we've got a cave people wildling and it is a normal raider and they will go to their camp and wait happily there attempting to slaughter us all once any wildlings come into play when you're rolling those 2d6 you also roll the wildling die now wilding presence on the board first of all you roll a seven as per standard katan there's a robber in this case it is torment you move them around they're going to block an area and anyone who's got more than seven resources are going to have to discard half of them down the other way in which wildlings have come onto the board is this we're going to move this wall out of the way so you can see what's going on beforehand there are three different types of wildlings and each of these wildling camps have got numbers that if you roll them d12 is going to push a wildling along now in this case if i roll a seven or eight as i happen to here the first wildling in the line is going to come down now this is a climber, that's one of the first types. They don't wait behind the wall, they climb directly over and they go to the next one in a suddenly direction in a straight line and they're gonna block that now and this is no longer producing any resources, this area of the gift. The next type that can come along is a giant and if there are no guards in the wall, you're in trouble, but if there's at least one guard, the giant is gonna take that guard away and they both leave the game and that guard is ready there for you to build again. Standard raiders will come down and as long as there are at least as many guards on the wall as there are raiders in the clearing beyond it, then everything's fine. Once you get more raiders than guards, then we're all in trouble. We're going to lose a guard and then all of these raiders are going to pour through and they would have breached the wall. Now, one of the other ways in which the game can end is if there are ever three wall breaches, the game's going to end and the game end condition is then different. It's not about victory points. It's about who has then got the most guards on the wall. And if we ever get eight or more wildlings, not including Tormund, in the gift, then again, the winner is going to be in a tragic victory. Whoever has got the most guards on the wall, whoever's done the most to prevent the wildlings from attacking us. How do we get guards on the wall? They're just another thing you can build. They cost a wood, a brick and a sheep and you pop them up on any section of the wall you wish. Now, once you get to at least three, you get a temporary victory point. If you ever get to five or more on the wall, you get a second temporary victory point. But if the wildlings kill them, then they're gonna push those down again. And you may lose those points, but they will count towards the 10 VP for you. There are also some cards in the game. You can build development cards. And the type of development cards you can get are like new recruits will let you add guards, or winter is coming will get you resources. There are two bonus victory points you can claim. One for the longest road, as per the standard game, it's worth one VP. And whenever it gets claimed, it does unveil a wildling token. Also for the biggest patrol, and you get that by getting range of patrol cards from this development deck. When you play them, you get to move tournament around. And then also whoever's got the most is gonna claim that temporary one VP while they have it, but again, unveil a wildling. And then there's straight up victory point cards in here. Like if you get dragon glass or long claw or find a dire wolf. The last type of cards are leaders. Now everyone starts with one and they have various effects. There's 11 in the game. And once you use one on your turn, you can either turn it over and you'll be able to use it a second time, then you must hand it in. Or after one use, you can hand it in and swap it for another leader. And they all have various effects to help you out. Like Yorin will let you discard one of these Ranger Patrol cards and turn it into a guard. Ygritte will help us get rid of some of these wildlings in here in the gift. Or Samuel Tardy, if you don't receive any production on your turn, will allow you to take one free resource, which can be very handy for building up. So like I said, there's three different game end conditions. If anyone scores 10 victory points, they've proven themselves worthy to be Lord Commander and they will be elected and that's a great victory. For the tragic victories, 
if ever we have three wall breaches or eight wildlings in the gift, whoever then has got the most guards on the wall will have won the game off the Game of Thrones Catan Brotherhood of the Watch. This has been a Game Pit Pit Stop. For more videos like this, check out our YouTube channel. And for more in-depth coverage of gaming, please find the Game Pit Podcast. Thanks.